Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain calculation of equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure for cascaded system. And to understand that, first of all, I will explain you calculation by one practical example. After that, I will explain you essential key points regarding equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure. And at last, I will solve one very interesting problem based on it. So let me explain calculation of equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure in cascaded system. You can observe here we have a cascaded system. Cascaded system means here multiple blocks are connected in series. See here first block that is amplifier. After that second block is mixture. And after that third block is filter. So here for these three blocks, I will explain how to identify equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure. First of all, let us consider this first block that is having gain G1, that is having noise temperature T1 and that is having noise figure F1. This second block that is having gain G2, that is having noise temperature T2 and that is having noise figure F2. And with this third block, let us consider gain G3, noise temperature T3 and noise figure F3, right. Now based on this data, I will explain you calculation of equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure. First of all, let me explain equivalent noise figure. If I say equivalent noise figure is F, then that will be noise figure of first block that is F1. Then with this second block, we have noise figure F2 for which here we will be having F2 minus 1 and divide by gain of a head block that we need to do. So gain of this block is G1. So here we will be having G1. And then for this third block, effective noise figure will be F3 minus 1 divided by gain of this two block that we need to do that is G1, G2. If you have fourth block over here, then here there will be plus F4 minus 1 divided by G1, G2, G3. That is how equivalent noise figure that we calculate, right? Now let me explain equivalent noise temperature calculation. See equivalent noise temperature T that will be F minus 1 into T naught where F is equivalent noise figure and T naught is room temperature, right? And if you want to calculate equivalent noise temperature based on T1, T2 and T3, then standard procedure is T is equals to noise temperature of first block that is T1 plus noise temperature of the second block that is T2 divided by gain of this block that you need to do plus noise temperature of this third block that is T3 divided by gain of this two block that is G1, G2 that you'll have to do. And if you have fourth block, then T4 divided by G1, G2, G3 that you need to do, right? Now here, you can observe here we have F2 minus 1, F3 minus 1. But here we have T2 and T3 only. Why the reason is in the standard form of equation, you can observe here we have F minus 1. That's why here there will be T2 and T3 only. Otherwise, everything is same, right? So these are the standard equations that you'll have to remember to understand calculation of equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure for cascaded system. Now let me discuss about few essential parameters. See, first parameter is based on first stage noise figure and gain. The reason is first stage noise figure and gain dominates overall performance. Let me explain how. See here we have standard equation, right? And here we have a first stage. See if you have first stage that is having gain G1 and if it is very high, then what will happen? See in this equation with second stage and third stage in denominator, we have gain of first stage. So if you have gain of first stage, which is very high, in that case, effect of this F2 and effect of this F3, that is 
getting minimized over here, right? And with this first stage, if you have higher value of noise figure or noise temperature, then overall equivalent noise temperature and overall equivalent noise figure that is getting increased. So first stage is dominating entire performance of the system, right? See, second point is based on high gain in early stage reduces the impact of noise from later stages. That one can easily understand based on equation. See, if you have higher gain with first stage, right, then that is what we are dividing with later stages. So overall impact of noise that is getting reduced if you have higher gain with earlier stages, right. See, lower first stage noise figure is critical in sensitive receiver. If you have a sensitive receiver, then you need to have lower noise figure with earlier stage, right? That's why usually at receiver stage, we will be using low noise amplifier. Low noise amplifier that is having lower noise means it will be having lower T1 and lower F1, right? And that will be reducing overall noise figure and overall noise temperature, right? That's why usually in the receiver you will be observing in first block, we keep low noise amplifier, right? See, in equation, we need to keep noise figure and gain in terms of value. Don't consider that in terms of dB. I have seen students are doing this mistake in majority of cases. So as and when you apply this equation, at that time, convert this F1, F2, F3 and G1, G2, G3 in terms of value. It should not be there in terms of dB, right? And when you apply equation, at that time, temperature should be there in terms of Kelvin. So these are the essential key points that you need to keep in your mind. Now, let me solve interesting problem. So here we have cascaded system. We have three blocks. For this cascaded system, we need to calculate equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure, right? So first of all, see here with first block, we have gain that is of 20 dB. 20 dB means it will be 10 to the power 2 in terms of value, means it is 100. Always remember this, 10 dB means 10 to the power 1, 0 dB means 10 to the power 0. 10 dB means 10 to the power 1, 20 dB means 10 to the power 2, 30 dB means 10 to the power 3, 40 dB means 10 to the power 4. So that is how directly without using calculator you can write. See 3 dB means 2. Let me explain how. 3 dB means 2 to the power 1, 6 dB means 2 to the power 2, 9 dB means 2 to the power 3. 12 dB means 2 to the power 4. That is how directly you can write without using calculator. Here G2 is 3 dB means it is 2. F2 is 6 dB means it is 2 to the power 2 means 4. This G3 is 0 dB. 0 dB means 1. And 3 dB means 2. See that is how directly one can write values. Now let me explain equivalent noise figure. Why the reason is here noise figure that is given to us. So equivalent noise figure that will be F that has to be F1 plus F2 minus 1 divided by G1 plus F3 minus 1 divided by G1, G2. If you have fourth block, then F4 minus 1 divided by G1, G2, G3. That is how simply you can understand this equation. Now let me substitute the value. See F1 is 2. F2 that is 4. So 4 minus 1 means 3 divided by G1. So 3 divided by 100 plus F3 minus 1. F3 minus 1 means 2 minus 1 that is 1 divided by G1, G2. So G1 is 100, G2 is 2. So divided by 200, right? So here we have 2 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.005, right? So you can say overall noise figure of this cascaded system is 2.035 and that is there in terms of value. If you want in terms of dB, then 10 log this that you need to do, right? Now, see second question is to understand calculation of equivalent noise temperature and here room temperature is given, right? 
so based on room temperature one can understand total noise temperature that is f minus 1 into t naught f is 2.035 minus 1 into t naught here room temperature is 300 kelvin so let me substitute that so here we will be having 1.035 into 300 so that will be 310.5 kelvin so that is how one can understand equivalent noise temperature and equivalent noise figure i hope you have enjoyed this session and i hope you have noted all these points i have seen sometimes there can be question in interview they may ask you why should we have low noise amplifier as a first block in the receiver in majority of cases so answer is this it is based on cascaded system right always remember in the receiver we have a cascaded system there will be multiple blocks so first block that is dominating in terms of total noise so we should be having highest gain and we should be having minimum noise in terms of noise figure and in terms of noise temperature right i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video